Maybelline just came out with a brand new foundation that I've heard so many people talk about and I actually got the opportunity to try this foundation out myself. The foundation I'm talking about is the Maybelline Dream Velvet Foundation, which is a soft matte hydrating foundation. I was super curious when this foundation came out because I am dry, but sometimes I like more of a shine free finish. So the fact that it's matte, but it's hydrating at the same time, just made me really want to try this foundation. So I was so excited that I have the opportunity to try this foundation out for you guys and give you guys my thoughts, my review, and actually demo how to apply this in this video. This foundation came out with 12 colors, so there is a pretty good range of different colors to choose from, so I think you guys will be able to find a good shade match for yourself. And I will actually be showing all the shades in this video, which is pretty exciting because I know a lot of people out there love looking at the colors so you can kind of get an idea of what foundation would be the best for you when it comes to color. Maybelline also created the Dream Blender and this is the applicator for this foundation. And you can use this for different uses like baking or you can use it for concealer, but I'm going to use it for foundation in this video. The fact that they made a matte foundation that actually hydrates instead of making your skin look dry is pretty amazing. I have dry skin and sometimes I just want a shine free finish just based on what look I'm creating when it comes to my YouTube videos or you know my everyday look. Maybe I'm going out and I want more of that nice velvet shine free finish. So sometimes it's hard for me to play around with matte foundations because they make my skin look really dry. So I'm super excited to try out this foundation. So I've already prepped and primed my skin and I've also shade matched myself just to see what color that I'm going to be using in this video. And the one that matched me the best was Sandy Beige, which is number 60. It's definitely more of a golden tone. I am lighter right now compared to summer. Summer I can get a pretty nice tan, but I definitely have lost that tan this winter. So I'm going to play with this color and it matches really well. So I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to look all over. I decided I'm going to apply this foundation in two different ways. On this side, I'm going to dab a bit of the foundation all over my face and then blend it out with the blender. On this side, I'm actually going to put some of the product on the blender and then blend it out that way, and I guess we'll just see which one applies the best. I have some of the foundation on my hand, and they describe the texture as like a whipped gel, and I can totally see that. It's definitely like more of a fluffy texture, but it feels like a gel at the same time. So, I don't know, I really like the texture so far. So what I'm going to do on this side is just dab a little bit of this foundation kind of all over, and then I'm going to blend it out with the blender. Okay, so I dabbed um, half of my face with that foundation, so I guess I'm just gonna take the blender and start kind of smoothing and blending this out just around my face, just to see how this applies. This blender is definitely really dense. It's not like a soft sponge, if you wanna compare it to like the Beauty Blender. But it seems like it's blending everything. Okay, so this is what this side looks like. I'm really happy with the color. I think it matches um, pretty good. You can see that there's a little bit more coverage here under my eye area, so I would say it's about like a medium coverage, but I could definitely see how you can probably build up this coverage too. So I'm going to work on this side of the face and I'm going to apply the foundation on the sponge and then kind of work my way around the face and apply it that way. So I'm just going to load up the sponge with some product and I'm going to start to work my way around the face. One thing I noticed right away with this foundation is that it feels really like cold and like refreshing on the skin. I really like that feature of this foundation. It feels really good. It definitely feels like you're getting bursts of like hydration on your skin. So I really like that. Alright, so we're done with this side. I can't really decide which 
application I like better. I feel like they both look the same and both were pretty easy. The sponge is so dense, I don't really see that the sponge is absorbing and wasting a lot of product, which I guess is a plus. Um, but yeah, I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? This foundation, I feel like it gives my skin kind of this airbrushed finish, and sometimes I just don't feel like that with the liquid foundation. But with this matte, um, maybe it's because I haven't worn matte in a while, but I really do like the finish of it. Um, like I said earlier, my skin is dry and I don't see any dry patches on my face and I feel like it just lays really nicely on the skin. It's not settling, um, it doesn't feel heavy or cakey or like have an oily residue to it. It feels really good and I think what I like the most about this foundation is when I applied it, it felt really refreshing. You could definitely feel that hydration kind of burst on your skin when you're applying it. And I really like it. So I would totally recommend this foundation if you are dry like me and you're kind of hesitant to try a matte foundation, foundation because you feel like it's gonna be really drying, then um, definitely go for this one. I think you might enjoy it. I definitely enjoy it and I definitely see myself using this in the future. I will put swatches on this video and you guys can kind of get an idea of the colors that are available. There are 12 shades available. I think they're a pretty good range and you could probably get a good match with the shades that are available. And also this foundation is really inexpensive. It's only about, I would say an average of $11. It kind of depends where you're going to buy it. But I saw that the average is about 11 bucks, which is pretty inexpensive and I've definitely paid a little bit more money for other drugstore items, so I think it's a pretty good price. So I definitely give this foundation a thumbs up and I totally see myself using this foundation in the future. I definitely wanna play it a little bit more with that blender, that sponge, just to see how it works. I think I just need to practice with it. And that goes with every foundation, every new kind of tool you're using. You just gotta practice and see if it's gonna work for you. So I promised in this video that I was going to show you guys some swatches of different colors that come in this collection so you can really get an idea of how these colors look and what shades are available. And I think you could definitely find a shade that will fit you. There are 12 shades available so let's get into the swatches and you can take a look for yourself and see what is available. Alright, starting from left to right. Warm Porcelain is number 5, Porcelain Ivory is 10, Ivory is 15, Classic Ivory is 20, Nude is number 40, Creamy Natural is number 50. Moving on to the second half, so Sandy Beige is 60, Pure Beige is 70, Natural Beige is 75, Honey Beige is 90, Caramel is 92, and Coconut is 95. I would love to hear what you guys think about this foundation, maybe what you think this foundation looks like on myself. You might see something different that I don't see. And if you have experienced this foundation already, please let me know down below what you think. I would love to see and hear maybe different techniques that you have um, been using with this foundation, maybe different application and what your thoughts are about the foundation. I would love to see. And that's it. So it was so cool to play with this foundation. If you wanna see more, first impression videos or maybe reviews on different products, then let me know down below. I can definitely continue and do this in 2016 because I think it's fun and I think it's a cool way for other people to see, you know, how a foundation is and what people think about foundations and just the experience with it and just products in general. So anyway, um, let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.